welcome uh, I just want to welcome everyone today we are at uh, my 16 Bonifamba in the southwest region Cameroon and we are here um, to help construct a farm it's a demonstration farm for care for the future they intend holding training for programs in this farm and they want to use the facility to be able to train young uh, young youths out there, the physically challenged, disabled, and a lot of people out there on snow farming. Nowadays, you know, it's a gold mine, and that's why Sustain Africa is stressing so much on snow farming. We are stressing so much, and we have been doing a lot of training programs, we have been doing videos, we have trained a lot of people, and today we are partnering with Care for the Future to design a demonstration farm. And not only partnering with them, today we have a, a beneficiary who is here, who also will be getting the knowledge, who is going to be um, getting the necessary skills on how to construct a farm. We intend, uh, we, it was chosen out of many because um, he's a technician already, he's a builder and he has the necessary skills in building and all of that. So we felt like we should bring him into the program and also because he has been interested in agriculture, precisely snow farming. So we felt like with him knowing how, with him having the skills already in building, he can be able to build farms for people all over. So we want to train him. He's the one doing the construction. We've um, educated him on how it's done and he's doing it. We're able to give him the technical skills and the materials and all of that. In collaboration with him for the, the future, we're able to do that. So we are here with him. I think he has uh, a lot to tell you. Good day. Uh, I am a Nelson. I am based in a building in construction. So I am here thanks to the, the support of the team that has come to help me out here to show me more about this, to go about it. I really love, I have passion for this long ago, but uh, I never had the opportunity to, to come across this help and like they have pushed me so far to be where I am now. As you can see behind me, you see what we have done so far. I've done the construction already. Now it's just to make the doors, the doors which we are going to use to fit them here in order to start the process of the snail's ring. So thank you very much for the support. I don't have much to say. I'm so grateful. Okay, so what can you say to those who want to get engaged in snail farming, like in agriculture? Well, I would say, I would say this is the best uh, this is the best and podium for them to to join. Like uh, the, the support from you guys have helped a lot. That I think this is the best place for them to be in future. Okay. Thanks so much. Well, we can continue with your civilian job. So now you're doing the doors, right? The, the cleaning of the door and all of that. So I think you should explain to them how it's done because I think it's also important. So what what is happening here now? Well, uh, this is the door, like I showed back there before. This is the door to fit there in order to make the snails to, to have good, good conditioner and, and environment down there to, to live well. That is why you can see at first, I first of all use the net, which is uh, the soft one first, before I double this one on it, which is the iron one. Okay. Which is the reason why is is doing that. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the the reason we, we, we do this is because this subnet prevents little organisms like some flies and insects from getting into the pen and kill our uh, our snails. Then we have the heart net. This this heart one is important because it helps in preventing you know, bigger animals like lizards. There are some lizards that feed on snails. Uh, we have snakes and some wild uh, creatures from getting into the pen. Then this net also, I think I didn't point it out, it's important because the, the color helps in reducing the, the waves, the sun waves that get in, in, into the farm. So it makes it a bit darker and also reduces the level of sunlight inside the pen. So we have to design the door. It's important also to keep the snails inside the pen because snails may, may be slow, but mind you, they move very fast at night because they have to go out and fetch for food and all of that. So the door is also to keep them closed. So this system which we are doing here is a train system. It's a train system and it's a very easy system. It's a good system because you can be able to calculate the number of snails which you have in your pen. You'll be able to to know the number of eggs which you have and all of that and there are some few things you can do. So what he has done now is the train system and we are training him and we know that with this knowledge you'll be able to train other youths out there, you'll be able to build farm for others. 
So if you want to get his services, because now he's an expert in wedding, based on the, 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 the skills he had already in the um, building, if you want a farm, you can always uh, get to sustain Africa okay, for the future. And we're able to get to him and we work together in constructing your farm. We, uh, what we're doing is totally free. We just want to empower youth out there to engage in agriculture, sustainable agriculture. So we are here with the CEO of um, Care for the Future. I think she has a lot to tell us. Good day, everyone. I don't really have much to say because uh, I'm very excited that we have gone this far and we are impacting somebody today. And not only impacting somebody today, but in future we are going to impact so many other Cameroonians. This is actually a pilot project of Care for the Future, wherein we try as much as possible to train youth on uh, sustainable income generating activities. And uh, to a certain degree, we offer them startup material where we can afford. Where we can't afford, we make sure we give them the necessary skill to the top. So that they too tomorrow can, you know, diversify in their sources of income. At the end of the day, this project does not only benefit our technician here, but it will also benefit other Cameroonians because it will be a place for training. Actually, we are building this snow pen right now in the premises of Care for the Future to be training young Cameroonians, even the old, the handicapped. Anybody who thinks snail farming is a passion to him or her will be training them on, you know, snail farming from A to Z. And uh, it will also serve as a source of income generation for Care for the Future, wherein that money will be used to run other projects like this one, because this is not the only project that we have in stock, nor is it the only project that we are doing right now, because we also train people on processing. We train people on different agricultural activities. We, we go seminars, we advocate, etc., etc. And we don't joke with partner partnership. That's why today you see we are working with Sustain Africa, who has actually been of great help to us, not only in terms of you know the cordial relationship we may share as NGOs but also in terms of expertise. You know, being in an NGO doesn't mean that you know everything. That's why we have to share our expertise. Where we are lacking, Sustain Africa actually helps us there. And where they are lacking, we help them there. And where both of us are strong, we unite our forces to be more stronger. So Sustain Africa, we really want to thank you because they're the ones taking us through that once taking us through the process, we are not experts in snail farming. We have our idea on snail farming, but they say in uh, pigeon, they say when man pass you by back. So <laughs> we are making sure we do the right thing. So thank you very much, snail. and we hope that uh, in future many young Cameroonians will benefit from this project. It's an amazing organization. Care for the future is an amazing organization. And when they called us, we we're like, wow. Wow, I mean, we, we are working with Care for the Future. It's amazing that we care for a lot of people, training them, and sustainable, sustainable agriculture. We train on a lot of things. I mean, my aunt died because she suffered from cancer, breast cancer. Um, I mean, people are dying every day for cancer, but we have a simple cure, a simple something we can take to prevent that, and it's snail. The meat, snail meat is the best. We use the shell for calcium. You use the, the slime for cosmetic purposes. If every family can have a small pen at the back of the house, it's going to change a lot. We have meat for every dish and we have a healthy even life. Even the shell, even the it's, shell it's, is it's used amazing. in cosmetics. Yes, thank you. It's amazing what we can change. Let's. This is a time where every NGO, every organization out there, we have to come together as work, and, and work as one. It's important. The population is growing. The global population is growing. We need food. We need skills. There are a lot of things that people who are jobless out there will need to know something. And you're out there. You have those skills. I think it's time we come together as one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Care for the future. Sustain Africa. Food for the future. Thank you so much.